Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, let me show you guys something here. Look, it is about four o'clock and this parking lot here is emptier than usual. These are our cars and then there's a couple of them here, but there's usually a lot of come more cars in here. And the reason that is kind of empty is because for the past five hours, we haven't had power in many places here in Southern California. Our, my neighbors here, these guys went home really early, like somewhere like a, I don't know, like a 12 noon somewhere today. Yeah, somewhere around 11 a.m. Everybody here started going home. Then you get to hear things like this. I don't know what the hell's going on here, but this is my brother's. Here we go. And apparently, what is that? Uh, it's like his alarm system. Uh, it's running on batteries. I do have some battery here. This is the uh, EcoFlow 600, um, R600, right? And it's got 12 hours working at this current condition. It's got 24%. But what we're doing here is running this, uh, it's just uh, the internet, right? So that he has internet. So this is what's happening here. But come check out my place. I want you to come check out my place. This is my place, 160. Look at that. Full power here. We're up and running. Yeah. I'm making my video. Oh. <laughs> you up and running? Yeah, uh, I'm like, dude, turn off the lights. I'm gonna, I might need this juice tomorrow. <laughs> We got more battery, no problem. I don't know. We got batteries here. This, I built that and it's, you know, it's- Got batteries. It's got a, it's got a yeah. leak of energy. <laughs> so this computer on standby when it's off is wasting like about a hundred watts. That is a lot of power. Yeah, I know. Uh, and it's not very evident until you don't have power, right? So yeah, he's got a bunch of computers here. This is, uh, what do you, what do you do? Uh, I just like to watch Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> But I like to watch multiple things at once. <laughs> yeah, he uses a lot of computing power in there because he does graphics for some TV show or something, right? But check out my shop here. <laughs> We're fully running. Look at this guy. Why are you over here? How come you're not in your shop? I don't oh, power. oh, you don't have no power over there. By the way, your alarm system is going off over there, going crazy, my beeping. I'm yeah. Trying to conserve energy here. <laughs> what? Hey, turn the lights on. <laughs> Uh, for the most part, everything is working here. I think the only thing that's off is that fan, for some reason, is making that noise. It doesn't like this power, but I kind of checked and it was, uh, it's, uh, I got an inverter. Let me show you my power here. What are you doing? Turn it on. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, this is our little system that we've got going on here as a typical male uh i procrastinate i'm a professional procrastinator so of course this wasn't set up 100 percent this morning i had to come in here and kind of connect stuff mostly this it's the transfer switch i hadn't connected any of this so i had to go and connect it really quick uh it was easy because there's no power uh and then you know i ironically i have so many inverters in this place so many high quality inverters but somehow I'm using the cheapest one that I can get. This is like literally a thing, like a $300 inverter, 3000 watts. It says pure sine wave. I haven't checked it out. Maybe that's why that little fans motor doesn't like it. But the reason why I'm using it is because this is the only one that's compatible with this battery. This battery here. Uh, let me see, I can get some tools in here. Uh, show it in here. Hopefully the fan will go off there. Yeah, here we go. There we go. That's the uh, jump batteries, right? We literally, if you're watching this and you're saying like, oh, where can I buy on these? I'm sorry, you missed out. Literally sold about 5,000 of these packs on jack35.com. They're sold out currently. I might get more in the future, but I don't know. And I set up this battery system uh, a while ago. We we're gonna make a video. I never made the video because then it ran. they ran out. So you guys bought them too quickly. And so I'm like, I don't want to advertise a product that you can't get, but here it is. I hadn't used it until now. This is literally the first time that I powered up. Uh, so you can see here, the batteries are not very well balanced. I think it's because I left one of these balancing for a long time. And so it kind of wastes some energy there. 
and then this one was off. But this is, the good thing is that it was about 90% state of charge because I fully charged them when I built this and then I left it there. And so today uh, it's ready to go, right? I, we have at least 10 hours that we can use. I'm only using about 1500 watts, I think, uh, max from all these lights and the computers and the radio and the cameras, everything, right? Um, here's what you do when you have this kind of situation here. You run critical circuits only, so you don't run everything. On this panel, what I ended up doing is not wiring the 220 volt uh, lift because, well, this one is, doesn't, doesn't, actually, it kind of does, it's weird. This thing is very, very weird. It, it has like split face. But it's 120, uh, 120 across the leads in the center is like 60 volts AC. So it's only like, it's set up for split face, but this one's not, right? It should have been 220 across the thing and then like in the middle it should be. But uh, anyways, I have no idea how this, how well this thing is gonna do because, well, it's the first time that I'm running it and it's kind of cheap. So here it is, here's part of the reason I think why there's no power in this whole area is because we have some incredible Santa Ana winds. They're terrible and, uh, you know, they, they, they knock out trees and power and stuff. Um, but the nice thing is that these guys who are usually here work like seven days out of the week and they make a ton of noise. No noise. It's nice and quiet. Now, I don't think they all went home because I can kind of hear them with the forklift in here, but they're kind of sticking around, hoping I think that the power comes on. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's been five hours. They announced that they, they would be gone for maybe a couple of hours. But here we go, hour five. And, uh, but it doesn't matter because we, uh, we're we gonna keep working. We're doing our thing. We have batteries. And of course, uh, if the power doesn't come back tonight, and we deplete this battery entirely. I have another battery up on top that's uh, bigger than this one. It's 20, about 20 kilowatt hours. That one should also be fully charged. And all I have to do is kind of make a quick, some quick cables and wiring them and, and wire them, right? So um, hopefully that works out. This guy's over here making labels. He needs a, he needs a power, you need a power wall in your, in your yeah. shop. You need a power wall. Um, let me show you the, the, I'm charging batteries here just in case that we need to do physical work tomorrow. No, we don't need this. So here we go. So here's the other power wall. Oh, actually I have two. This one here is four kilowatt hours, but I don't know. I don't think this, this one's a nominal, it's not charged. But this right here, it's 100% charge. And here's a 24 volt inverter, 3000 uh, watts. So I could totally just wire all this in 24 with some little cables, plug that in there, plug that down there, and, uh, and then we're good to go. We are good to go. I am gonna use some of these batteries to charge some of these guys because this is what saved us this morning. We uh, got everything up and running with these, uh, you know, with this, uh, kind of emergency power supplies and we have a bunch of these boxes battery boxes and so they're they're powering everything like you know the the other internet stuff here's another one that's fully charged and so this is what we're going to be using um yeah but right now i have to go and figure out if we have power at home and set something up because i don't again don't have anything 100 percent set up i have batteries I have inverters, I have the whole thing. It's just, you know, we're always changing them because the power is always on. Except now that it's not, I'm gonna have to, you know, just kind of do something. All right, hello again. Here, now I am at home and it is 7.49 p.m. and the power just came back. So I guess just shy of nine hours. 
uh, in 2020 in California, we lost power, right? For nine hours. Here's the street light just came back on. Now, let me show you the what I cobbled up. All right, here we go. We have, I had a couple of these uh, Tesla modules laying around and they were, luckily they were fully, fully charged or, you know, 90% fully charged. So I just coupled it with these uh, 24 volt inverters, 3000 watts. And then what I did was something that I don't recommend people do, but in a case of an emergency you can do. I just, I just got two extension cords, cut them in half and then put a male plug to a male plug. And so then I just plugged it into this wall, right? Into that plug. And so now I'm back feeding into that. Now, of course, what you have to do, and then here's the other one. Here's another module, and then here's another inverter. And the reason why there's two is because here in the States, you have what it's called split face, right? And so split face is two, two different circuits, right? Of 120 volts. Okay, in order to do what I just did there, what you have to do is you have to disconnect or turn off your main breaker. Right, and that way, then you're disconnected from the grid. Uh, second, what you have to do is disconnect or turn off all your break, your 220 breakers. That means the dryer here, the car charger, uh, the AC, anything, the, your oven, whatever it is uh, that is the you know using the whole phase, right? 220 volts. You have to disconnect that one and turn them off. And then you leave all the other breakers on and then you just have to find one plug that is from one leg and then another plug from another leg. You connect them there and then those back feed into all the other circuits. So that's how I got my fridge working and the lights in the restroom and the fans and all those little device, you know, appliances that would be a nightmare to try to run an extension cord. How do you run an extension cord to your lights? There's there's no socket that you can do. So that's how you did it this is not the way you do it this is only for an emergency i don't recommend people do it if you do it if you make a mistake and you burn and you you know make sparks or whatever don't don't come crying to me because well you have to know what you're doing in order to do that right so right now that the power is back in my neighborhood now i have to go and disconnect these battery uh little battery systems and inverter systems before I can turn on my main fuse, right? And so I, that, I, I was wondering how that was gonna happen. I didn't know, I thought like, well, if it happens in the middle of the night, that's okay. You know, we'll just leave my little battery systems running all night and then in the morning when we get up, if, if, if there's power, you know, if my neighborhood has power, then, you know, just, just do it then. Uh, but, you know, if it didn't, then, you know, probably my batteries would be, you know, almost depleted. So the stage two would be now to connect these guys because these, I also don't have them connected, but these are 48 volt batteries and I have a 48 volt inverter, like a full size eight kilowatt inverter that then I would get to work in there, right? But only if the, if it's needed, because you know, I, even though today they said that it was only gonna be like two hours uh, in a service interruption today, well, somehow it ended up being more like nine hours. Which, by the way, it's no joke. I mean, uh, you know, it prevents uh, a lot of people in my area from working. Uh, it prevented kids probably from going to school today because if you're remote learning and you don't have power to, you know, have internet and to have a computer on and stuff, well, you, you just didn't do that, right? And so also if you're working remotely, then that wouldn't work. You have to have batteries. Uh, I can't stress this enough. In 2020, in California and many places in this country, we will start seeing this. The grids are being taxed. They're being, there's more demand that they can handle currently. And this will be a common occurrence coming up in the future. So prepare yourself, get yourselves a bunch of batteries. Now don't do like me, just have them there disconnected. Connect them, get a transfer switch ready to go so that when that's, this happens, you just flip a switch and then uh, they even have automatic ones, right? But uh, you just, you're up and running and you're, you don't skip a beat, right? So uh, yeah, I just, I'm gonna have to go and disconnect all my battery systems and then get this thing back on grid and then uh, call it a night. And then uh, hopefully tomorrow the power is back. All right. Thank you for watching this video. See you on the next one. Bye.